everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm Elisa and I'm a food and travel vlogger. In today's video, I'm going to go through the top 10 must-eat things in Taipei. I literally cannot leave Taipei without eating these 10 things. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and let's get started. So I couldn't narrow it down to the top 10, so I have an honorable mention. I couldn't leave this one out. I thought it was so unique. So the honorable mention goes to the boba pancakes at Belle Epoque. And boba pancakes are an invention I never knew I needed. Honestly, like when I first heard it, I was like, I mean, it sounds cool, but I thought it was just a hype type of thing. But honestly, these are so good. Like my mind was blown on how good they are. They're such a delicious, unique dessert. And if you want to see more about it, I actually put it in my five cutest, most insane Instagrammable drinks and desserts in Taipei video so I'll link that right over here and you can see more about the boba pancakes and my experience there so let's get started into the actual top 10 so number 10 is the original flagship store of Din Tai Fung and I know what you're thinking the original Din Tai Fung is 10th that just tells you how good this list is. So Din Tai Fung, of course, is known for the Shaolong Baos, but they have so many other delicious dishes there. And although Din Tai Fung is on the pricier side of things to eat in Taiwan, they're definitely way cheaper than any Din Tai Fung that I've ever eaten at in the US because each order of 10 pieces of Shaolong Bao is less than $8. And on top of it being cheaper, the Din Tai Fung Shaolong Baos in Taiwan are way better than the ones in the US. All right, moving on to number nine. So number nine is the grass jelly dessert at well, the name is in Chinese, so I don't really know how to say it, but I'll put it right here so you can find it. And I always list the address in the description box down below, so you guys can always check there to see where I'm eating. And also, if you just type in like grass jelly shop near Tonghua Night Market, then you should be able to find it too. So this place is a local favorite for grass jelly desserts, similar to the kinds that you can find at Meat Fresh. And honestly, I like this way better than the Eastern Ice Store. That's like where most people would tell you to go, but I actually like this spot a lot better. The grass jelly is just so silky and soft, and the taro balls are so chewy and each bowl is only around 50 NT. I actually did a video on the Tonghua Night Market and I included this spot there. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it in the cards and also in the description box. So number eight is the most famous place for a popular Taiwanese dish called Lu Rou Fan and it's basically braised or minced pork over rice. And this spot is called Jing Fen Braised Pork Rice. There's three sizes, small for 30 NT, medium for 40 NT, and large for 50 NT. When you get your bowl of Lu Rou Fan, You'll notice that it seems that the meat to rice ratio is a little off, like there's a lot more rice than there is meat, but they do this on purpose because actually the meat is so fatty and juicy and rich that you're gonna need all that rice to finish that bowl of meat, trust me. So number seven is another great find at the Tonghua Night Market, Tongren Shaved Ice. And I know what you're thinking, Tongren and shaved ice? That doesn't sound like it would be good together because Tongren is actually usually served like as a hot dessert, but this take on tongyuan is completely different. It's served on a bed of ice, generously drizzled with some osmanthus syrup. It's such a unique dessert, but it's like seriously amazing. And the tongyuan is some of the best tongyuan I've ever had because it's so chewy and the filling is so good. You can pick from peanut or black sesame. If you choose to have half half, which is three each, then your bowl will be ADNT, but usually an order will only have five tongyuan in it. So number six is Taiwan's most famous place for gua bao, which is also called the Taiwanese hamburger. And this spot is called Lanja Gua Bao. And basically gua bao is a fluffy, fluffy bun filled with pork belly, pickled veggies, peanut, sugar crumble, and cilantro. And that might sound like a really weird combination. Like I know when I first heard of gua bao, I was like, that doesn't sound like it would be good. But trust me, it's literally amazing. It's a mind-blowingly good. Like I would really have regretted it if I didn't try it because it's seriously one of my favorite things in Taipei. And I always have to go to Lanja Gua Bao to get this. Each of these baos goes for 60 NT, which is such a good price for like a little snack or a lunch maybe. And I actually have a more in-depth video on this spot and I'll link it in the cards and in the description box down below too. So number five is my favorite spot for fried chicken that's bigger than your head. Like literally, I have a huge head and it's bigger. Well, maybe. Hao Da Da Ji Pai, also known as Hot Star Large Fried Chicken, is the best fried chicken filet I've ever had. Like, it's so good. These huge pieces of chicken are fried to perfection and coated in this delicious seasoning, kind of like a five spice taste. When you bite in, it's so crispy and crunchy and the inside is so tender and juicy. Ugh. It's literally the best thing ever. And it's only 70 NT, which is way cheaper than the hot stars in the US. 
So number four is the best beef noodle soup I've ever had. And I've had a pretty good share of beef noodle soup. This mind-blowing beef noodle soup is at Yong Kong Beef Noodles. Seriously, if you haven't tried their beef noodle soup, like, you haven't lived. I'm sorry, but it's true. There's always a really long line here, but don't be too scared off because they move really fast since they only serve a limited amount of things on their menu. And they also have a second floor, so that really helps the line move too. They serve up the most complex beefy broth with these chunks of tender beef and tendon, as well as these really fresh made noodles that just soak up the beefy flavor of the broth. This spa is pretty expensive for Taiwan standards. It can range anywhere from 250 NT to 310 NT, but honestly, it's so worth it. You have to try it at least once. So we're finally getting to the top three and I'm getting so excited. So number three is the pepper bun at Rao He Night Market. This is seriously a life-changing bun. Oh my god, it's so good. Seriously, these things are heaven in a bun. I've never had a bun where the outside is so crunchy and crispy and then the inside of the bun is still nice and pillowy. Then the pork is filled with pepper and it's so juicy and they also put so many green onions in there. After I ate one, I went right back in line to get another. It's that good. And it's only 50 NT, so might as well, right? So coming up on number two is the best boba spot in Taipei. Like, honestly, fight me if you disagree. I'm ready. This spot is called Chen Shan Ding, and I've had so much boba in my lifetime. Like honestly, there was a period of time, by a period of time I mean like two years, where I would drink boba every day, at least once a day, like sometimes twice, sometimes three times, okay? I was obsessed, and to the point where I actually kind of got sick of it, so I actually don't drink that much boba anymore, but that being said, I always stop by here whenever I'm in Taipei, and I don't even like boba that much anymore. So that's how you know this place is so good. Don't come here expecting milk tea though, because each cup only comes with brown sugar boba, milk, and ice. That's it. So the simplicity of the drink is what lets the boba be the star, and that's what's so amazing about it. Each cup is only 40 NT, but honestly, I'm telling you, you're gonna want more than just one cup. And number one on my top 10 must-eat foods in Taipei is... Tong Dua Bing from Tianjin Tong Dua Pancake. Yes, a scallion pancake is the number one thing I must eat every time I'm in Taipei. Do not underestimate this Tong Dua Bing, okay? It is one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. They make each pancake fresh with their handmade dough, then they press it to be a perfect circle, they pan fry it on their griddle, and they fluff it up to perfection, and you can see all those flakes starting to pop out. It's served steaming hot with the choice of toppings such as basil, egg, ham, and cheese, but I really recommend trying the original plain one first, so that way you can really admire the purity of how good that Bing is by itself. Each one of these pancakes ranges from 25 NT to 50 NT. So it's literally like the perfect breakfast or snack or if you want to order like five, maybe like a lunch. I don't know. I would do that. It's literally so good. Oh my gosh. All right. So that's it for this video of the top 10 best things to eat in Taipei. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs up this video and comment below your opinion on the best things to eat in Taipei. And if you haven't been there yet, then comment below which food on this list you would want to try. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.